This is a really simple way to stream video and photos from your laptop, PC or iPad without using any adapters or even any apps, which a lot of people don't realise. Uh, so all you need for this method to work is the latest Windows software on your device and a regular smart TV. So here's how it works. So with your your, your mouse just hover over the video or the photo that you want to stream to your TV and then right click and then scroll down to where it says cast to device and then it should bring you the option for your TV with the ID of your TV now I've got another couple more options which because it's picking up my neighbor's TV uh, so I will make sure that I don't click on any of those and so I will just click on in fact it's got my ID for TV twice at the bottom and at the top now in experience I found that clicking on the the ID with a grayed out icon produces the best results uh, and it's, it is more stable clicking on that option so if I left click on that and then it brings up a pop-up box and then it should start connecting to the TV and so it's starting to load if I put the volume up Hi and welcome to Tom's Tech Reviews one of the cool features and that's me speaking on the TV as well so there's two of me now so I'll just turn that volume off so so that's streaming quite well on the TV so if I want to switch that off now I can either just click on exit on the remote control or if I go back to the pop-up I can click stop on that so if I click stop and then it goes back to the TV uh, as it as it was so now if I close the pop-up box and then if we select the photo and um, right click on the photo and then scroll down to cast to device and then again if we select the ID TV ID with a grayed out TV icon left click on that and then it brings up the pop-up box and then that streams to the TV now this will only stream for a few seconds because it kind of streams it like a video and then it crashes and goes back to the TV so what you need to do is when you have the pop-up box you need to click here so that it's got turn repeat on so what what it will happen is it will play the image like a video for a few seconds and it will keep playing it so it won't drop off so if I just click on that repeat and then click play it should then connect again to the TV and there it is so this time it should actually stay and not disconnect so I think it's working and then what you can do then is you can actually zoom in so using your remote control you can click on the uh, the menu uh, icon in the middle in, in my remote control it's the uh, this icon here in the middle and um, and then that brings up the settings and if I press this icon again I'll do that I'll do that again hang on and then press it again and then you click on rotate and zoom now this is my Samsung smart TV so your your uh, instructions might be slightly different to mine so with with my TV I can now click on this same button here in the middle and if I click again it will zoom in so I can zoom right into the picture and then zoom out and I can also rotate the picture around and zoom in and then you can reset it so that's working fine and then if I want to come out back to the TV I can click exit on the remote control
and then that goes back to the TV. So there you go, there you go, and I can close this pop-up box down, and my laptop's back to normal. Okay, so I hope uh, hope that's helped you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment uh, below the video, and uh, I'll answer as soon as I can. And uh, if you like this video, please thumbs it up and subscribe for future videos because I'll be uh, producing uh, uh, new videos in the near future. Okay, thanks for watching.